Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today we are diving deep into SQL relationships. Relationships in SQL tables define how tables are connected to one another, which helps to link data across multiple tables. We will cover the four main types, one to one, one to many, many to one and many to many with real world examples. Let's start with one to one relationship. In a one to one relationship, each record in table A is linked to a single record in table B and vice versa. This means if you have a record in table A, it directly corresponds to exactly one record in table B. Now let's take a practical example. If you look at these tables, a users table and a profiles table, each user has one profile and each profile belongs to exactly one user. In the users table, we have two users, Alice and Bob. And in the user profiles table, profile ID 1 belongs to user ID 1 that is Alice and profile ID 2 belongs to user ID 2 that is Bob. So let's assume in the database we want to store users but also their valid profiles. Okay, so we need exactly one profile for one user, right? So in this case, the user ID in the profile table serves as a foreign key that relates back to the users table. This means each user will have exactly one profile, ensuring a strict one to one relationship. Okay, users is going to be your left table and users profiles is going to be your right table and they have one to one relationship because one user can only have one profile and one profile can only belong to exactly one user. Okay. Next, we have the one to many relationship. This is where a single record in table A can be associated with multiple records in table B. Consider a customer's table and an order's table. A single customer can place multiple orders, but each order belongs to only one customer. Customer table contains three customers, John, Jane and Alice, each with a unique customer ID. Okay. And each order in the orders table is associated with a customer ID, linking it back to the customer who placed the order. Okay. So John has placed two orders. Here you can see in the customers table, customer ID is one, one for the first two rows. The, the first two orders are placed by John. Okay. For the third order, the customer ID is 2. That means the third order is placed by Jane and the last two order which have customer ID as 3, they are placed by Alice. Okay, Alice has two orders in the orders table. Customer table is your left table and orders table is your right table. Here the customer ID in the orders table is a foreign key referencing the customer's table. From the customer's table perspective, a customer can have multiple orders. From the orders table perspective, multiple orders can belong to one customer. Okay. Now let's talk about the many to one relationship. This is essentially the inverse of the one to many relationship. Here multiple records in table A can be linked to a single record in table B. If you take a look at this example, we have Students table and classes table. Students table is your left table and classes table is your right table. And in the students table, we have three students, Alice, Bob and Charlie. And in the classes table, we have two classes, math and history. From the perspective of the students table, many students can belong to one class. In this case, while we look at students, many entries in the students table refer back to one entry in the classes table. This relationship is still the same. It is just viewed from a different angle. This defines many to one relationship because many students can belong to one class and one class can have many students. This is your left table and this is your classes is your right table. But from the perspective of the class table, if class is your left table and students is your right table, it would be one to many relationship because one class can have many students, right? So that's how it works. Finally, we have the many to many relationship. In this case, multiple records in table A can relate to multiple records in table B. So think of a student's table and a courses table. A student can enroll in multiple courses and each course can have multiple students, right? So here comes an intermediate table called student courses which is also known as junction table. 
This table allows us to manage the many-to-many -many relationship. Each record in student courses table represents a student enrolled in a specific course. Okay, so one student could enroll in multiple courses and on the other hand, one course could have many students. When you look from the student's perspective, one student could enroll in multiple courses. On the other hand, one course could have many students. Therefore, many to many relationship is implemented with adding a new table. Here in the students table, we have two students, Alice and Bob. And in the courses table, we have two courses, math and history. And in the junction table, which is nothing but your intermediate table, we have student ID and course ID. So Alice has enrolled in two courses, course ID 1 and course ID 2, math and history. And Bob has only enrolled in one course, math. So this defines many to many relationship. Alice has enrolled in multiple courses and one course has many students enrolled. Course ID 1 has student 1 and student 2, Alice and Bob as you can see in this junction table, right? So that is all for the day. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on SQL and database management. And leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.